Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's DIY, I'm going to try and create something really interesting with some of this Valentine's Day wall decor that I had left over from Valentine's Day. I'm sure that you can probably find some similar signs for this time of the year. Maybe something spring themed. Um, I have these two. And I have this set along with an additional set. Here I've already removed one of these hearts. So before we get started, I'll go ahead and remove these hearts along with the strings that's attached to these signs. As you can see, this heart didn't come off so easily. So I had to use some pliers to pull it off. All right, so what I want to do is line these up and make it like a cityscape, like buildings. Um, let's see. I'm going to line them up even at the bottom. And then this one I'm going to make shorter so I have to cut this. This one will go here. I won't be using this one, but if I want to make it longer, I would, but yeah. And then I'll put this one here. So yeah, this is the look that I'm going for. Took an X-Acto blade and scored the board where I wanted to cut it. After scoring the board a few times, I lined the scored section up with the end of the table and then broke it off. Okay, so I'm done cutting this one. And I did make a mistake and rip some of this paper off. So I'm just going to use a little bit of my paws to get that back in place. Okay, so this is how I want my cityscape. It has a little bit of a bow in it. All right, this is the look that I'm going for. I wasn't thinking when I flipped these over to glue these together, it actually changed the look of my cityscape, but that's okay because I worked it all out in the end. Next, I'll be gluing each section together with Mod Podge. I applied some masking tape to hold it together while the glue set up. Now, while this is drying, I want to still reinforce this. You can use like a painter stick, maybe a couple, put one across here and here. Make sure it don't extend past your last building. I have this piece of board from a previous project. So what I'm going to do is score it and break it on the end of the table like I did this piece. Now, as you can see, my line is not perfectly straight and that's fine because it'll be on the back. Okay, so I was actually able to get two pieces and these are really flimsy as you can see, but they still will work out. But I really would recommend using one of those long wooden rulers, cut it down to size, a paint stick, or if you have a couple of extra signs, like the ones I'm using to put the table skip together, you could use that. Bottom line is you will definitely need something to reinforce the back. Next I'll use some Gorilla Glue along with some hot glue to attach these strips to the back of my wall piece. And now I'll just go ahead and reinforce this down with some tape. For additional security, I put some hot glue on the outside of the strips.
All right, so I pull these back, and this is not sticking like I really want it. So I'm going to add some hot glue there as well. I'm going to reinforce the rest of the seams with hot glue as well. Now when I flip this over, you'll see how my initial design changed. And as you can see, now it starts out with a shorter building. And I think I like it better. And it's pretty sturdy too. Now as you can see, this piece has some glitter on it. So I'm going to scrape off as much as I can. Alright, I'm going to grab a vacuum cleaner and clean this up really fast. Now, before we move on, I found this piece from a previous DIY and thought that it would be really cute at the very end of my cityscape. So next, I'll be gluing this on the very end, just like this. But I'm going to do that off camera to save on time. You guys will see what it looks like when I bring it back. Alright, so moving right along, now I want to use these little tower blocks from Dollar Tree to make some little shelves. Make sure that my blocks stick really well together. I'll be using some Gorilla Glue, but wood glue would work just as well. Now, building these shelves are quite simple. All you need to do is glue eight blocks together. That's two rows of four blocks glued together. And I made a total of eight shelves. And as promised, here's my cityscape with the buildings attached at the very end. It's kind of hard to see the full thing from this angle, but you'll see the entire cityscape when I'm done. Now when I flip this over, you can see where I added the end piece down here, and I used this other piece that I broke off to secure it. Now in order to hang my cityscape, I'm going to glue these sawtooth hangers on with some Mod Podge and hot glue. I did end up removing these and gluing some new ones down, because I wanted to make sure that the back of the cityscape was level. So I glued two small pieces like the strips that I put across the back at the very top and then glued the hooks on top of it to make sure that it all leveled off. Okay guys, I'm sorry. I actually thought I was recording. Um, what I did was took my pieces that I glued together and again, there's um, eight blocks in all that's glued together and um, I'm going to use these as little shelves on my building. So you can put like cute little plants on there, um, pictures, or candles. It's up to you. So I've already laid them out however I want them to go. I have a marker here. And I'm just going to mark. Oops. Where each one is going. So then I'm going to take a drill and drill two small holes where I put the marks and I'll do this just in case I want to um, reinforce the back with screws. Okay, so I'm done marking where all of my shelves will go. And so now I'm just doing this to reinforce my shelves at a later date because I actually don't have any small screws. This step is optional. Now this is what it looks like from the back and as you can see I have my pilot holes. So now I'll be able to put screws directly into the shelf. When I flipped it back over I noticed that it was separating here. So I put some more Mod Podge in the crease and then put some tape on top to hold it together until it dries. Alright so moving right along I'm going to put some Gorilla Glue on the back of my shelf and a small amount of hot glue and then hold it down until the hot glue sets up. I'll repeat these steps on each shelf. I did reinforce those shelves with some tape and let this sit overnight. So now that the glue has completely dried, I'll take this outside and spray paint this entire thing silver. It'll probably require about three separate coats. All 
All right, so I'm done spray painting my piece and I let it dry for about three hours. And because I'll be using some bling wrap to decorate most of my buildings, I'm gonna add some sparkle to the background by mixing some silver glitter with Mod Podge together and then brushing it on. Again, I'm doing this in places where I'll be using the bling wrap because as you can see, it's see-through. And by adding the glitter background, it'll be extra sparkly. Okay, so all the places that I add the Mod Podge mixture will be covered with the bling wrap. Okay, so since my wall shelf is going to be high on the wall, I decided to decorate the bottom so it wouldn't be so plain. I measured and cut some bling wrap and then glued it on with hot glue. And here's what it looks like when all of the shelves are decorated with the bling underneath. Now the next steps are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, I'm going to decorate this building with some mirror tiles and some bling. I'll continue to decorate a few other buildings. Then I'll complete the rest of them off camera, come back and let you see what it looks like. Alright guys, I'm done decorating my buildings and you really won't be able to see too much until I hang it on the wall, but yeah, this is how it looks. And what I'll do is go ahead and clean this up, put it on the wall and then let you see what it looks like. Okay guys, here's my finished wall sconce slash wall chef, and I absolutely love it. If I were to change anything, I would change using the hot glue. If you look close, you can still see where I put the hot glue on there. Normally, I would use some of the Dollar Tree Fix All to glue my bling down so I wouldn't have those lines from the hot glue. But unfortunately, due to the situation in the world right now, I am not about to go out to Dollar Tree. Fortunately. The naked eye doesn't pick up the hot glue. You can see it a whole lot better on camera. So that's a good thing. And right here you can see that I added some lights in the background. And that was really easy to do. I just hot glued some string lights in the shape of my wall sconce. Again, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Displayed the way that I have it displayed with these LED candles. You could also decorate it with some succulents from Dollar Tree. Some small frame pictures would look really nice. And some of the cute Dollar Tree figure rings would look really cute on these shelves as well. But I'm sure you'll have your own decorating ideas. Okay everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.